So as always, just remember to have these sets of boxes to be unboxing. Um, well, unboxing some sports and non-sports cards. Uh, basically, once I hit 25 subs, I would be unboxing a pack of Marvel cards that I received from uh, San Diego 2022. Uh, when I have a, when I hit 100 subs, I will open some boxes of fully loaded WWE NXT fully loaded cards. When I hit 250, I'll be opening up some NXT cards. WWE NXT cards, excuse me. When I hit 500 subs, I'll be opening up some AEW cards. Uh, of course, boxes of them. I'm always adding to this stuff. And when I hit 1,000 subs, which is probably my goal uh, for this site, uh, it'll be about a whole lot of GPK cards. Of course, these pictures I need to update. I will eventually do so when I get some time. But as of right now, there's an idea of what I have set aside to open up. All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to go over my plans for the current year, which is 2024. We're going to discuss, go over what I'm starting with. At the time of this video, I will be returning back from uh, Chris Jericho's Rock and Wrestling Rager 2024. This was sailing out from Miami to Cosm Cosmoco, Mexico, or this street of Mexico. Uh, so that I will be returning from. My next plan event will be the NA NHL, the Hockey League Stadium Series, which is Saturday night will be Devils versus uh, Pittsburgh, or yeah, Pittsburgh, I think it is, Pittsburgh Penguins, so we're going to see that game, that's my only game for the season that I will be attending for this season, in March, of course, I have Batman 1989, which is going to be a, playing the symphony in the background, live. So that's going to be pretty cool. Something different about that one. And then, of course, in the beginning of April, I have WrestleMania 40. That will be fun, as well as, well as uh, the surrounding events around there. See what I can get into. Uh, just recently added from my last video, was, of course, the Chiller Theater, which is at the end of April. Uh, that will be probably the last Sunday of the month for me, according to my calendar. And then uh, Garden State Comic Fest, which is in June. Uh, still up in the air for me would be Contropolis, New Jersey, which is in July. Then, of course, we got Terrific Con in August, which will be on a Sunday I'll be going to. And Iron Meeting in November. So that's my known plans. We're still up in the air. It's the Aerosmith concert I was supposed to go to in December of 2023. That one has not been released new dates. And I have not gotten tickets for the New York Comic Con 2024. So that's still two events that I have to confirm other than that everything else is actually confirmed and ready to go on that so that's it for this video this segment of what's up guys just give you a quick update on my youtube channel basically my youtube channel uh basic stats for 2023 basically i added four new subscriber i got over 5,000 views but only ordered only added four new subscribers find that weird i did a total of 64 uploads i got 105 likes 10 comics on it and eight shares throughout the whole thing. So I mean, for just starting out, in my basically, I've been doing it on or off since 2020, I believe it is. Uh, <clears throat> I'm doing pretty good, even though I'm doing it on or off. I haven't been consistent with it, but that's also my fault. I'm trying to double check something real quick for everybody. So as I was saying, I've been doing it since uh, October of 2021. It looks like uh, consistently, not so much consistently. The two years I've been on or off, but been working at it uh, so uh, what I got coming down the pipe right now is basically a couple of more uh, videos uh, some random stuff basically me doing a card break coming down to uh, random cards nothing inconsistent uh, as well as another opening of uh, Funkos and comics also an all elite crate box couple of box unboxings that should have been some of them were boxes that I have for years that I just put in storage uh, but I finally opened those up and got them up coming up to up onto YouTube I still got a lot of more especially on the pro wrestling crate side boxes to take care of all right guys welcome back to this segment in this segment I'm going to be going over my eBay sales as well as my storage unit let's start off let's start off with the storage unit Currently, I still got the storage units up for sale. It's up to $13,000. I calculated you're guaranteed to make double or triple your money back from this unit. Uh, of course, as of right now, no one has made a decent purchase, a decent offer on it, I should say. Uh, that's why I still have it. I did bring it up 3K because, like I said, it's double or triple, definitely double, possibly triple the amount of money that is valued. So I'm looking at maybe $25,000 is worth, maybe $40,000. 
So again, double or triple the value of what I'm asking for. So right now, no one's made an uh, offer on it, but everybody keeps asking for loose pictures, uh, pictures of what's in there. So if you want to see the pictures, go to my eBay store. I've been putting it up there. I already sold two items from that unit. That unit bought me uh, approximately, according to eBay, $400. But the reality, no, excuse me, 3 381 But the reality is I got 200 bucks total from that. That's reality. If you want to know what it is, I have a video already posted from a couple of days ago. Going more into a little bit more detail what I sold up there. Currently at this time I have items up there. I think I have a total at the present time 13 items right now up for sale. I won't be bringing down another video around. I always go double so 13 times 13 is 26. But around the 25th item I would put a, post another video up based on what I'm selling or already sold. Continue, but it has to be 25 active listings on there. Hey, welcome back. This time I'm going to be doing a devil's recap and in this devil's recap. I'm not going to go through all the games, but I'm just going to do a quick recap of the whole entire month of December. But again, I'm not going through the whole entire games. Out of the 14 games that they have played and during the month of December, the Devils has won eight games. No more than three consecutive games in a row wins. Other than that, they have not beaten their old record from last season of 13, I believe it's 13 games in a row. So that's been the goal set, I guess, for that month. Now we're going to do over January. So I'm almost done. There's only two games left at the time of this recording. Excuse me. At the time of this recording, there's only two games left for this for the month of January. So right now, Jan during the month of January, <clears throat> the Devils has played Washington on the 3rd and won. Chicago on the 5th of January and won. Now on the 6th of January, they lost to Vancouver. On the 11th, they lost to Tampa. Tampa Bay. Now on the 13th they beat Florida. But on the 15th they lost to Boston. Then they played Montreal on the 17th and lost. Then they played the Patriots on the 19th and won. Lost to Dallas on the 20th but won and beat the Golden Knights on the 22nd. So there's two more games left, which is on the 25th and the 27th. I would not be in town for that. So that will be on next month's recap and we'll finish off of that. So as of right now, it stands like one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be so. So for the month of December, I'll be opening up eight booster boxes of hockey and six fat uh, fat packs of uh, of uh, hockey cards. So that'll be my break for the month of December. And then December uh, looks like as of right now for January, two, three, four, five booster boxes, and the rest are packs until we find out what the last two games are. Thank you for joining me today on this YouTube video, and as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any future contents. Thank you for watching.